know welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing fine in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to cut um how to cut what you have on the thumbnail where you have one side as the normal shoulder and the other side will be having of sugar so we'll be using a princess that a princess bustier to cut this so i need a full scale pattern we're not using a scale pattern so i'll fold my paper into two if you are using um if you want to draft directly in your fabric you do the same so the folding so that i won't waste the paper though it's not fabric but i don't actually want to waste it what you do is your bust measurement divide it by four then you add six inches to that so bust measurement divided by four plus six inches that is what you use to fold your fabric or your paper so I'm okay with this so I'll just fold I have drawn my lines here the lines I have this is my nipple point or shoulder to nipple this is the underboard and this is the half length or waistline so we label the lines we have let's label it this is half length this is underboard this is shoulder to nipple I hope you can see what I've labeled. So we come come up here to take your shoulder measurement. So the shoulder I'm using is seven. Then make your shoulder slant. So right after that, get your arm o measurement. Get your arm o measurement. Whatever you have me measured for your back ear is what you measure here. Then make this a straight line. Then connect this. So this is what we have now this is what we have the next thing to do is to get uh that line or um, bust pan so in this case the bust pan i'm using is six and a half nipple to nipple measurement six and a half so that six and a half i'll divide it into two that will give me 3.25 so take the 3.25 at the half length or waistline here the same 3.25, take it at the on the bust line here. Then at the nipple point, at the shoulder to nipple, you add half inch to whatever you have taken in. So adding half inch to that, that will give me 3.75. And you come to the um, arm hole here, you come here and divide what you have into two. Or you come down by four inches. So I like to use, I like to come down by four inches. So that one is left to you. You can either come down by four inches or you divide what you have by two. Both are fine. So this is the point. I'll just make an extension of one inch from that place. Mark and make an extension of one inch from that place. So this is my extension of one inch that one will be like that then you connect this to this this to this then to this i'll come again connect this to this to this then to this so see how we do it So this is what you have now then you blend if you have a curve you can use your curve but since i don't have it i'll just use my hand to blend blend to make sure you don't have any sharp edge so now you come to this side this is the side that defines your breast this is the side that defines your breast 
what we are actually drafting is a princess that bustia if you can remember so whatever you take here is what will bring out the shape of your breast now i like to emphasize that whatever you take here um, is not a constant it depends on the size of the breast of the person you are making the dress for so if the person's breast is very small you take half inch here half inch here if the person's breast is small, not very small, you take two inches. If the person's breast is on the medium size, you take two and a half. If the person's breast is very big, that is on the plus size, you take three inches, but don't exceed that. So what I mean is someone may have a, a bust um, circumference, that is bust measurement of 40 inches, but the person's breast is actually small. It's just that the person is... Uh, big on the side not that the person's breast is big and someone may have a bust circumference of 36 and the person's size side is small but the person's breast is actually very big so it's the size of the breast that determines what you take here not the bust circumference and how can you actually determine that you can use this to determine that the distance of your shoulder to nipple are you on the bust in this case i have three and a half this is small not very small in some cases you have three if you have three take one and a half if you have three and a half take two if you have like four take two and a half and if you have more than that you can take three inches so what i'm saying is it depends on the breast of the person so for this particular one we are using two inches so then we'll take the two inches here now when you get the nipple point you come up by one and come down by one this is to avoid having any sharp edge at the nipple point come up by one then come down by one inch so from this come up by one you connect it to this one you came out from And you connect this to this, what you have at the half length to what you have at the other bust. Now, if you have a French curve, you can use it here to connect this come down by one to this under bust. You can use your French curve. But if you don't have, just curve your hand. Make sure your hand is curved. So this is what I have now. So you can see that the shape of the breast is out. The shape of the breast is out. I have a video on how to draft pieces that bust here alone without um, these one side being off shoulder and one side being um, shoulder. So you can also check that out. I'll drop the link in the description box. So the next thing to do is you, to insert your measurement. So inserting our measurement, the bust divide your bust measurement by four divide your bust measurement by four then whatever you have in between these two lines in this case i have 0 0.25 replace it then you add one inch to that add one inch then you make your arm o from there Remember, I've not added sewing allowance. So it is after this that you now add your sewing allowance depending on whatever you want to use. So for this one, I'm using sewing allowance of two inches. Underbust circumference, your UBC or underbust circumference, divide it by, by um, four. What you have in between this place, replace it. Then add another one inch to that. Then your sewing allowance. 
the same thing here your waist measurement divide it by four replace whatever you have here add another one inch to that then your two inches allowance the one inch i'm adding is to join the two sides together the one inch i'm adding is to join the two sides together so don't forget that so finally this is what we have then we are just cutting out now before we now make one side off and the other side um leave the other side as a normal shoulder so this is what we are cutting out let's make our neckline let's make our neckline three inches by four this neckline is left to you three inches by four So I have cut it out now and this is what we have. This is what we have. So what we will do now is to shape this, this uh, middle part. So we just place this side uh, um, on one side. See this? This is what we have before we shape one side. The paper is folding. This is what we have. So we just place the sides on one side then we go to this so what you do now is to determine the side you want to be slanted so normally um, i prefer to have my off if there will be off on the left side on the left side so we'll be shaping this side let me use this so okay so we'll be shaping this on this side so you determine what you want to use for your off so normally I always off my shoulder with four inches. So this is four inches here. From these four inches, you blend your neckline to meet what you have here. To meet what you have here at the center of this pattern. So you can use your ruler, but I just want to use free hand. Let me use the ruler. So what you have here blend it to this piece i hope you can see the line i made here so you blend it here when you now blend it you come back here you come to this side because this side will be off shoulder because this because this side will be off shoulder remove one inch from this side Remove one inch from this side, then you re blend this one to this place. What I mean is, you re blend this new point to where your curve here starts from. If you do not remove this one inch if you do not remove it this place will be too big because it's up it's meant to be off so you re-blend this 
then you cut this and so this is what all we have final this or the middle part so when you place the side let me move like this so when we place the side this one will be like this it will be like this then this one will be like this the first thing to do is to take your zip allowance so i'm using two inches for my zip allowance i hope you can see what i'm doing two inches for my zip allowance That's the first thing to do. So after you must have drawn that, let me check the length I have here. Check the length of your bodies. I have two. Don't ask, um, remember we didn't draw. We draw you a full scale for the first. So you draw a full scale for so this. this is, so I have the two sides. I'm not making only one. So this is my zip allowance. Now you take your back measurement. We are just making a normal back. Take your back measurement, then make your shoulder slant. Get your arm O. Whatever you took for your back, place it here. Then make this a straight line. Then connect this. Then connect this. Then input your measurements. The boss divided by four. This is the boss divided by four. So from here first, make your arm O. Then add your swing allowance of two inches. Then come to the waistline here, input your waist measurement. In this case, the waist I'm using is 26. So, no, 27. So, input your waist measurement. Then add one inch. This one inch will be for our dart. Then your sewing allowance of two inches. Then connect your lines. And the back, the um, neckline we used for the front. Remember, we used in this case, you can't actually use different necklines. Whatever neckline you have for the front is the neckline you must have for the back. It's a must. So, the neckline, um, I used three by four. So, three by four. This is three by four here. So I'll just draw out the neckline. Then I'll extend this to the zip allowance here. Then I'll cut it out. I forgot to mention something at the neckline here. If you know that the part you want to off will not be up to four inches, that the part that will be off should have that your off shoulder will not be up to four inches don't make your neckline up to four inches you can make it like three inches if you want to remove three inches for your off shoulder okay that is that, uh, that so i've cut it out now and your zip allowance fold in your zip allowance on both sides
fold your zip allowance. Now, folding your zip allowance, you can see that both sides are facing each other like this. Now, let's assume that this is the right side. Let's assume this is the right side of your fabric. So, you take this. You take this. Assuming that this is also the right side. So, I'll write R on the places I'm assuming to be the right side. So, assuming this is the right side, this place that I've written R, and assuming this is the right side, and this is the right side. So, I'm assuming this to be the right side. So, you place the middle part of this on right side facing right side. Remember I said R indicates right. So, right side facing right side. Place this middle part of the front on the middle part. You know, we have folded this zip allowance. That will be our middle part now. So, this is what we have. Making sure that the middle parts are on the same. Then, you now trace out this neckline. Trace out what you have for the front. Then, make this indication. Make an indication of where it stops here. Then, this, you blend this to make a new arm O. So, let's blend it. You curve this to make a new arm O. I hope you get what I said. Right side of the front, facing the right side of the back. Then you place the middle of the front at the middle of the back. Trace out. Why we are placing it right side to right side is so that you don't you won't shape the wrong side. Then whatever you have here. So I'm taking out the front, then I'm shaping the sides we want to shape. So this is what you have for the back. This is what you have for the back now with our zip allowance on fold. Now if I open it up, this is one side and this is the other side. So when you fold your zip allowance, this is how it will look. This is how the back will look. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Turn on the notification bells for more of this. Thank you for watching. Bye.